so good afternoon everyone <clears throat> and welcome to this lecture this is lecture number 6 uh, on uh, prisms and we were uh, dealing with refraction at plane surfaces on a prism this is probably the last class on this we will be finishing up uh, your refraction today on plane surfaces and we will be moving on to curved surfaces just a quick recap of what we had done in the previous class we had seen that whenever light passes through a prism we get the light deviated and we had seen the various formulas of deviation the relation between incident angle emergent angle angle of prism and so on do we remember these eight or 10 formulas that we had seen which is are right now on your screen yes sir do you remember them remember beta if any question comes from prism it will be coming from all of these 10 formulae and that would be a straight forward question do you understand the meaning of straight forward question tick and go tick and go so remember this we had also seen what happens if <clears throat> if we have minimum deviation if we have minimum deviation then that ray the refracted ray will go parallel to the base of the prism do we remember this this ray and this ray and then this uh, base of the prism are parallel that was one thing that we had to remember we also had to remember that both the angles r1 and r2 are same and that becomes equal to a by 2 we are also seen some problems on this and in today's class we will go ahead and see the next heading which is known as deviation deviation we have already seen we will look at what we call as dispersion or i think all of you know what is dispersion yes or no do we know what is dispersion no idea what is dispersion what do you mean by dispersion you might have heard this word if you don't have any idea you probably would have heard this word sir yes beta splitting of light splitting of light is correct uh, whenever light passes through a prism what light white light whenever white light you must understand that white light basically basically consists of not one but seven different colors yes or no now remember yes, no one is going to ask you what is the meaning of dispersion you just have to remember and understand it the dispersion the phenomena of dispersion is the angular splitting of white light into its constituent colors whenever white light passes through a prism the white light splits into its uh, different colors and why does that happen why does that happen why does white light uh, split because we have seen that uh, this refractive index mu for any substance it depends on uh, the wavelength of light yes or no refractive yes, index mu depends on the wavelength of light in fact the actual formula is given by a scientist named kochi and this is known as the kochi's formula the formula is very complicated it is out of our course the only thing you have to remember is kochi had given this formula which tells us the refractive index of the medium as a function of the wavelength and it is a formula which looks like this it's an infinite series and it goes like c by lambda raised to the power 4 and so on we normally take it as a plus b raised to the power of lambda square that means refractive index of any medium it is inversely proportional to lambda square where lambda stands for the wavelength of light that means <clears throat> if the light consists of different colors different wavelengths mu would be different if mu is different they will deviate by different angles because if i look at the formula for deviation by a thin prism can you tell me what is the formula for deviation by a thin prism which we had seen in the previous class what is the formula for deviation by a thin prism anyone can read and uh, tell me but uh, the point is not reading and telling me point is remembering and telling me right i hope you understand this 
Okay, anyways, what is the formula of deviation for a thin prism? The formula of deviation for a thin prism was mu minus 1 multiplied by A. Do we recollect it? That was the formula for deviation by a thin prism. That means this deviation delta depends on mu. Yes or no? And this mu basically depends on your lambda. It is inversely proportional to lambda. Therefore, if different different wavelengths fall on the prism, they will be deviated differently. Yes or no? Do we understand this? Do we understand this? Yes, if different sir. different wavelength of light fall on the prism, they will be deviated differently. I hope everyone is noting it down. Uh, these are things that will come as question in your exam. Why this deviation happens and who will deviate more and who will deviate less? Well, <clears throat> now, talking about white light, white light basically consists of a number of colors starting from violet to red, which has the minimum wavelength, violet or red? Which has violet. A, violet has the minimum wavelength, so lambda of red is the highest and it is greater than the lambda of violet, which is the smallest wavelength. Now, we have seen that refractive index mu is inversely proportional to lambda. Therefore, therefore what? Mu for red light will be very small, will be smaller compared to the mu of violet light, yes or no? Therefore, the angle of deviation or deviation for red light, which will be smaller than the deviation for the violet light. And this is a diagram that shows this. You can see white light falling between a boundary of two mediums. This is medium number one and this is medium number two. And what you see, the original track, the original path of the light is given by this. But because of different, different wavelength and because of different, different mu, different different lights will deviate differently the red light the red light here the red light here if i draw it with a pink line the red light will deviate the least yes or no whereas the violet light deviates the most do we understand this the red light deviates the least Whereas the violet light deviates the most, this phenomena is known as dispersion. Do we understand this? This phenomena yes, sir. by which different different light, which are inside white light, they deviate by different different angles is known as dispersion. So we see deviation of violet is maximum. Whereas the deviation of red is minimum. Do we see this? Deviation of yellow is in between. Deviation of yellow is in between the two. And therefore, this deviation of yellow is also known as mean deviation. Do we understand this? The deviation of the yellow light is known as mean deviation. And you can write this mean deviation as mu yellow minus 1 multiplied by A. Do we understand this? Where A stands for the prism angle, mu Y stands for mu Y stands for the refractive index for yellow. Similarly, you can write the deviation of red light as mu r, refractive index for r, minus 1 times a. Similarly, you can write the deviation for violet light as mu for violet minus 1 times a. Am I clear with everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone understands this? Everyone, I guess, is noting it down? Sir, can you please show the previous slide, sir? Which previous slide? This one? No, sir. Before this. There was, no, there was nothing in that previous slide. It was only Kochi's formula, beta. What were, were you not noting it down? 
write it fast so that we can move on we are we are you understand we are we are we are we are behind the course curriculum where we should be right please note it down fast have you noted it down Have you noted it down? Done, sir. Can you just stop this thing? Uh, thing. It's wrong. Okay, one. Okay. Now again the same diagram, and what we got to see here that. Uh, there is a delta red okay thank god okay there is delta a red which is the deviation of red light that will be written as mu r minus 1 times a there is a delta of yellow light which can be written as mu y minus 1 times a then there is deviation of violet light which can be written as mu v minus 1 times a now you can see the angle between the red and the violet light this is the red light and this is the violet light yellow is somewhere in between there is an angle that you see between the red and the violet do you see this angle theta this angle theta which is the angle between the red and the violet light or the violet and the red light this theta is known as angular dispersion this basically tells us how much the red and the violet light they have gone away from each other the angle between the red and the violet light or the violet and the red light is known as angular dispersion so that will be written as delta v minus delta r which becomes equal to mu violet minus mu r multiplied by a do we understand this yes sir so what so what you got to remember in this chapter is in this small thing is what is the value of delta r i hope you can remember this what is the value of deviation of violet that is very clear this gentleman which is in between this is known as mean deviation do we understand this the deviation of the yellow light is known as the mean deviation whereas the angle between violet and red is known as angular dispersion this theta is known as angular dispersion if you can remember these things this is all that you need to remember about 
dispersion and deviation now we now i show you the i, I showed you the diagram for dispersion by refraction now what happens if you have a glass slab now if you have a glass slab if you have just one surface i have shown that the rays deviate right but if you have two plane surfaces like this and remember this might come as a direct question to you if you have two plane surfaces that means you have a glass slab the first refracting surface is this and the second refracting surface is this now if light passes through this parallel glass slab you can see that there is no angular dispersion the light does not get dispersed the light gets deviated but the light does not get dispersed so a glass slab does not produce dispersion because all these three lights which come out they will come out parallel to each other so to see the phenomena of dispersion we need one plane surface if we have two plane surface which are parallel to each other dispersion does not happen do we understand this yes sir so you don't have to write this thing you don't have to draw it you can just write if it is a glass slab the dispersion thing does not happen but what happens if you have a prism does dispersion happen in a prism or not does dispersion happen in a prism or not if you it have happens, a prism sir. if you have a prism beta again you have two refracting surface number 1 and number 2 but this time the surfaces are not parallel they are at an angle and therefore we have more deviation or more dispersion as compared to a single surface in a single surface we have very less deviation very less dispersion but for a prism you can see the deviation is very large do we understand this yes sir this is delta r the deviation of the red light this is delta v the deviation of the violet light the yellow light comes somewhere in between yellow is the mean deviation and if you look at the angle between the red and the violet light that is known as the angular dispersion do we understand this yes sir that is known as dispersion can i now give you a question have you noted down everything yes sir okay i'll give you this question and i hope you can solve it for me remember these questions the only problem you might face is the calculation otherwise everything is pretty straightforward this is the first question the refractive indices for flint glass of red and violet light are 1.613 and 1.632 find the angular dispersion produced by a thin prism whose refracting angle is 5 degrees i'll give you 2 minutes to note it down
सर यस बेटा बेटा फ्रॉम वेयर दिस रिंगिंग थिंग इज कमिंग फ्रॉम विच सेंटर From where is this coming? No one knows this. Tarna ka sir. No sir. I'll have to, uh, have to complain it officially that this really is really not good because it distracts the entire class and I can't take it. Anyways, I hope it is gone forever. Sir, answer is zero point zero nine. Zero point. Zero nine five. Zero point zero nine five. That is correct. Did you get the answer, everyone? Yes, sir. Well done. So, how did you find out this angular dispersion? This angular dispersion is the angle between uh, the violet deviation and the red car deviation. So, I can write it as mu v. mu v minus 1 times uh, mu v minus mu r times a you just put the value of mu v 1.632 minus 1.613 and you multiply it by 5 and you land up with your answers do we understand this everyone yes sir yes sir okay if in the same question it would have been asked find the mean deviation delta mean find the mean deviation for this prism how will you find out the mean deviation for this prism my dear friends mu v plus mu r by 2 yes give me time i have to call someone and abuse someone now okay so if uh, if if uh, they had asked the mean deviation how would you find out the formula for mean deviation is the deviation in yellow light now the deviation in the yellow light can only be calculated by mu sir. yellow oh you can hear me na sir 1.6225 okay yeah so i mean how did you get it so you have to calculate like this the only problem here is we don't have mu y how do you calculate mu y mu v plus mu r by 2 mu v plus mu how did you know this beta you have studied it before yes sir good good hey. well done if you studied it before that is great i am really impressed so if you don't know mu y for yellow you find mu v plus mu r by 2 do we understand this that is how you calculate the mean deviation can i give you one more yes sir now before going on to giving you one more let me introduce one more term here and the term that i am going to introduce every uh, everyone got the answer for this one bachcha let me introduce one more term over here and the term that i want to introduce now is known as dispersive power have you studied this one as well dispersive power of any prism what is the dispersive power this basically tells us 
just a minute i am getting a call Okay, that was the problem for that uh, ringing bell. Uh, I think uh, from wherever it comes, you just shut everything off and put it aside and from, from whatever uh, device it is coming, throw that device out of the window. And uh, when I, and someone asks who asked you to do that, the last six said to throw the device out of the window because it disturbs him in the class. Dispersive power. This dispersive power basically tells us how much a prism can cause the dispersion and what is the formula for that dispersive power anyone it is written by the word omega and it's a it's a it's a it does not have unit because it's a uh, it's a ratio what is the formula for dispersive power yes eh? you don't know theta by delta y theta by delta mean that is correct or you can write it as theta by delta y or you can write it as delta v minus delta r by delta y or you can write it as mu v minus mu r by mu y or you can also write it as mu v minus mu r divided by mu v plus mu r by 2 if mu y mu yellow is not given do we understand this yes sir this is known as dispersive power of the prism and from here also i can get some really good formula for example if i combine this one and this one i can write the angular dispersion my dear friends theta will be equal to omega times minimum deviation or deviation of yellow you can also write it in this way deviation of violet minus deviation of red will be omega times deviation of yellow light do we understand this yes sir. so these are different different ways in which you can write this can we now move on uh, to 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 the next question yes sir anyone has noted this down sir one minute note uh, okay, there are some students who have not studied it before, so we'll have to give them the time as well. Let me know when you are done, Bacha. Completed, sir. Well done, sir. I have this feeling that uh, this uh, bio batch, need batch is doing a lot better than the than the what? Than the JE batch. They are more into mischiefs and they study less than what you are doing. So that is a good sign. Next question. Thank you, sir. Yes, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed by your dedication. It looks like you are doing a lot better seriously than uh, what the other counterparts are doing. Okay, if that, I think this is from your module only. Example number 39, you can have a look if you have the module. Refractive index for glass 
for red and violet lights are 1.5 and 1.6 find the refractive index for yellow approximately you can set me that you can tell me the answer dispersive power of the medium of the prism i'll give you two minutes to tell me the answers for this one Yes, my dear friends. And the answers are. Sir, yes, bacha. For A, it is one point five five. For A, it is one point five five because this is mu violet plus mu red divided by two. If you put the values, you will end up with one point five five. That is correct. Can you now tell me the refractive, uh, the dispersive power, bacha? Let us see which class tells me that first. You can always work together. Group studies is always good. But normally what happens in group studies is that you chit chat more than you study. If you study more than you chit chat, it's really, really good. Yes, do we have the answer? Dispersive power for this uh, gentleman. Zero, sir. Zero? Hmm? How can it be zero, beta? Dispersive power zero, that means, okay. Dispersive power zero. That brings me a question. Mu what v is that? minus mu r by mu y minus one. Okay. What is the answer? Number, number. What zero point one. Nah, that is not zero, right? That is not zero. That is zero point one eight. I think the answer is correctly. What is the dispersive power of a glass slab? Since you have said that dispersive power is zero, what is the dispersive power of a glass slab? Mu v. What is the dispersive power of a glass slab? Mu v minus mu r by mu v plus plus mu r by two. This is the glass slab. What is the dispersive power of the gentleman? This is a question that might just come in your G, uh, in your need. Say, say, say. First, tell me this answer, then we'll go to that question. What is the dispersive power for this gentleman? Omega for this? And the answer is? Answer is right there in front of your eyes. I've also underlined it. Sir, is it zero? Are you asking me or are you telling me? It is zero because there is no angular dispersion, my dear friends. Dispersive power is theta divided by delta. This theta is zero, my dear friends. Uh, glass prism cannot do dispersion. Do we understand this, Bacha? Yes, so if sir. you give the same answer here, that will not be correct. Dispersive power omega will be mu violet minus mu red 
divided by mu yellow you have already calculated mu yellow so you can just put the values bachcha give me the answer 1.6 minus 1.5 divided by 1.55 minus 1 you will approximately get 0.2 yes or no yes no yes sir yes sir then sir can i give you the next question sir yes sir let's sir see sir if you can give me the answer sir fatafat sir fatafat means quickly sir how do you say, uh, how do you say quickly in uh, in uh, in uh, telugu what is the word for quickly tondarga kundarga tondarga sundar ga sundar means beautiful na kundar ga okay sir t for uh, tomato tondar ga tondar ga right yes sir tondar ga so do it tondar ga and uh, give me the answer this one prism angle for a prism is 10 degrees the refractive index are red and violet are 1.51 and 1.52 find the dispersive power do it tondar tondar ga Do it fast, sir. Yes. Daba daba. What is that? That that means slow, slow, right? Yes, sir. Daba daba. See, I, I can I can I can I can add two pa plus two. Sir, it means fast, sir. I said daba daba means more fast. Yes, so sir. So why did you tell me tundra ga? I mean, I can't say two words for the same thing. No, I will just use one. Quickly sir. means quickly. Yes. Tundra ga means slow, fast, sir. Daba daba means more fast, sir. No, so daba daba is better. Daba daba, do it daba daba. Yes, sir. Jaldi, fast. Quick, 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 quick. Give me the answer, quick. So that we can move ahead in life. Life has to move forward. sir yes what's the answer sir 0.01 0.01 okay that if you are getting it it must be the correct answer i assume 0.02 is what i suppose that you should get more approximately so how do you find the dispersive power here same thing it will be mu v minus mu r i hope you can see my screen divided by mu yellow minus 1 mu violet is uh, 1.52 mu yellow uh, mu red is 1.51 divided by the mean of this right what is the mean of this 1.52 and 1.51 the mean would be 1.515 yes or no yes sir so it will approximately give you 0.19 or approximately give you 0.2 do we understand this yes sir pakka clear 0.02 oh sorry not 0.2 uh, 0.02 sorry 0.02 clear with everyone Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are the simple, simple things that are going to be asked. Apart from this, what they can ask you is the next heading, which is known as combination of prisms. So, write the next heading: combination of prisms. Sir, one more problem. You want to do one more problem? Yes, sir. Okay. Do one more then. Your wish is my command. So, I'll give you one more.
Here. You see this? Let me just put it correctly. Okay. Comes this one. The refractive indices of flint glass for red and yellow light are 6.44 and 6.664. Calculate its uh, refractive dispersive power. Yes, so you're going to tell me the answer. Ooh, what has happened here? Sir, yes, wait, sir. Sir, wait, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, sir. I will wait, sir. Your wish is my command, sir. I'll wait, sir. Don't worry, sir. It just tests your simple calculating skills. Plus, minus, divide, multiply. Nothing else. Dispersive power omega is always equal to this. Now, how quickly you can get to that result is what that matters. And remember, I'm looking for an approximate answer. Looking for an appro approximate answer. Sir, 0 0.09. 0 0.03 is what uh, should be the answer. Mu violet minus mu yellow. So 1.664 minus 1.644. That will be 0 0.0. 0 0.02. 0 0.02 something. Divided by. The mean of this 1.664 and 1.644. Sir, sir, wait, sir. We are doing sir, one minute. Yes, yes, do 0. it. 0.03, sir. Yes. You, you just have to find out the mean of uh, 44. Sir. And 64. And that is 54. That's how you do it. Minus 44, 64, the mean is 54. Got it? Sir. That will save, that will save your time. Yes, beta. Sixty-four, forty-four, 44, mean is 54. Got this? Yes, sir. Then it is very simple. You just have to divide it and I think you will land up with 0. 0.03. 0 answer. We understand this? Yes, sir. Can yes, you sir. Move, move ahead with the next thing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and the next thing is known as combination of prism. So write the next heading, which is combination of prism. So now we are going to combine prism. And there are two ways in, you, in which you can combine the prism. The diagram is not important. The first is known as deviation. without dispersion the first combination is known as deviation without dispersion just try to understand that you may not be drawing the diagram what you have to understand here is you have two prism do you see prism number one and prism number two yes sir this prism has angle A and the refractive index is taken as mu. This prism has angle A dash and the refractive index is taken as mu dash. Okay. Now what happens in dispersion without devi uh, deviation without dispersion? Your angular dispersion is zero. That means here you are having white light which is coming in 
and at the outlet you also have the white light which is going out so white light after refraction from two prism it emerges out as white light this is known as deviation without dispersion do we understand this yes sir so the white light has deviated but it has not dispersed the deviation from this prism is d is uh, theta 1 the deviation from this prism is theta 2 i can write the value of theta 1 as mu violet minus mu red times a do we understand this bacha i can write the deviation from the second prism as mu dash v minus mu dash r times a dash do we understand this yes sir and the total deviation uh, sorry total dispersion will be equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 and that is taken as zero therefore you have a relation between you have a relation between a and a dash that is the relation that is given here do you see this bacha and that is what you will have to remember a dash will be equal to minus a into mu violet minus mu red divided by mu dash violet minus mu dash red what does this negative sign indicate this negative sign indicates that prism angles are in the opposite direction that means if one prism is erect the other one is inverted this type of combination of prism is known as deviation without dispersion do we understand this yes sir in this case if you have to find out the total deviation the total deviation will be deviation of number one plus deviation of number two you can find out the deviation of number one by mu yellow minus one times a do we understand this yes sir. you can find the deviation of the second prism by finding out mu violet uh, mu yellow minus one times a dash do we understand this yes sir. add both the two quantities and you will get the total deviation because in this case there will only be deviation but there will not be any dispersion do we understand this everyone in the class yes sir have you noted yes, down yes sir have you noted down the formula? Noting bacha? down, sir. Noting down, down, sir. The other class is quite smart and I see a very healthy competition, which is getting uh, interesting. I'll give you two minutes to note it down. I think the other class is doing more, more harder study than the first one. Is that so? Good. Have you noted it's it down? Yes, you are saying, sir. The class which does not have you, the other one, the other one. I don't oh. name, I don't name, uh, for me, everyone is equal. So I call one class as class one and I call the other class as class two because I don't name them. I, I don't like naming people. That is bad. Okay, have you noted this, Bacha? Yes, sir. If this is the first type of combination, Bacha, now you can apply some common sense. Physics is all about common sense. And tell me what would the other type of combination look like? What will happen in the other combination? In the first combination, we had zero dispersion and we had deviation. In the second combination, what would happen, my dear friends? You will have dispersion but no deviation so here the total deviation would be zero this is prism number one this is prism number two the refractive index of this one is mu the angle is a the refractive index of this one is mu dash the angle is a dash what is the deviation from the first prism delta one from the first prism is mu yellow minus one times a do we understand this Yes, sir. The deviation from the second prism is delta 2, which will be equal to mu dash yellow minus 1 times a dash. This total, if I add them, is 0. 
From there, you can get the relation between A dash and A, and you can see that relation. You can see that relation, yes or no, which I'm going to just highlight. That is the reason, that is the relation that you have to remember. That means you can find out this angle A dash if you know this angle A. What is the significance of this negative sign? Prism angles are in opposite direction. What, what do you mean by prism angle in the opposite direction? If one prism is erect, the other is inverted. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. In this case, Bacha, they might also ask you a very difficult question, which is not going to come in your exam. What is the total uh, dispersion? To find out the total dispersion, you find theta 1 plus theta 2. How do you find theta 1, Bacha? Theta 1 can be found out by mu v minus mu r times a plus mu dash v minus mu dash a times a dash. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. I'll give you two minutes to note this down. Done, sir. How could you do it so fast? It's not possible. Sir, please wait for a moment. I'll wait. It is impossible for me to wait. As soon as I've returned, you have said that you have returned. That means you have, uh, you have done it before, right? I understand. Sir. No, no, I understand you, but I, I, I am also human being. I am not no god that you know. I can write this much in a flash. I just can't do it. So don't worry. I'll wait for you. Uh, these girls, they are, uh, they have done it uh, earlier before. That's why they are uh, noted down everything probably from the module, and uh, that is why they are behaving that they have done everything. I understand that. That much dimag uh, I have. That much brain I have. May not have more brain, but I have that much one. Okay, just uh, remember, Bacha, here the diagram is not important. What is important is that you understand what is dispersion without deviation and what is deviation without dispersion. Do you understand the concept? The diagram is not important. Do we get this? Yes, sir. Now the other class. Other class, do you get this? Yes, sir. Have you noted it down, Bacha? Sir, just a minute, sir. Okay. Don't worry, I'll wait. I had a specific task in my mind. I think I have done that one. So I can wait. Don't worry. I can wait. I'll give you time, Bacha. See, the purpose of this class is to not do things in a haste. The purpose of this class is whatever we do, we must do it in such a way that we don't have to do it again. And if a question comes from this particular thing, you should be able to do it. Have you noted it down now? Note it down. Done, sir. Now? This is the same thing written in a tabular form. So if you want, you can write it this way to remember it. The first is dispersion without deviation. This is also known as chromatic combination because why it is known as chromatic? Chromatic means color. Color means dispersion. If there is dispersion, you call it chromatic. Here, the second case, because they might give you question based on chromatic and achromatic. Here we have deviation without dispersion. There is no dispersion. There is no color splitting. And therefore, we call it a chromatic combination. So these are the two terms that you must remember. Chromatic combination means deviation is zero, but there is dispersion. A chromatic combination means there is no dispersion, but there is deviation. We have already seen uh, this uh, Condition number one for both the cases. Condition number two is basically giving you a shortcut formula for finding out the dispersion in the first case and deviation in the second case. I have told you how to do it. This is the shortcut formula for the same thing. I don't think this question will come for you in the examination hall because this, is, this will just require a bit more calculation, which I don't think will be a part of your NEET exam. But still, you can note it down because they might ask you the formula. And this is the formula that you have to note down. The first formula we already know. The second is to find out the total dispersion in chromatic aberration. On the right hand side, we have total deviation for a chromatic combination. Combination of prisms. We have done this. We have done 
what we were supposed to do in today's class i had planned to do two or three questions on uh, this combination but it was not possible so that question will now be pushed to the next class and in the next class we'll also start with the most uh, lumba long lengthy part of this uh, uh, chapter and that is refraction through curved surfaces so we'll start that lengthy part in the next class refraction due to curved surface refraction due to plane surface is over and out from my end that means whatever questions can ever come in any exam you are ready to try them and to solve them if you have any doubt please let me know have you noted this down bacha this is same thing written in a tabular form for you to revise it quickly done everyone yes sir so now we will meet in the next class we will uh, try and solve some problems two or three more problems on this you have some problems in your module yes or no on this combination of prisms do you have some problems in your module do you have the module first question you have the module for this one no sir you mean dpps no i don't mean dpp i mean something something uh, something given to you to material yes we got material sir so uh, you will have some geometrical optics yes 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 abiram so you will have problems some solve uh, when you read that material you will find refraction you will find refraction yes, at sir, there are, uh, solved examples also and so, uh, solving huh. ones uh -huh. also so, Go in that part where you have solved examples. You will find a few questions unsolved also in that part, and you can solve it before coming to the class tomorrow. We will do the same thing in the class tomorrow. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay then. Take care and have a nice day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye sir. sir. Take care, sir. Bye, bacha. Take care.